In this recorded lecture, we will focus our attention to these two uh, important essential learning competencies. Natutukoy ang mga issue tungkol sa paggamit ng kapangyarihan at pangalaga sa kalikasan at kabutihang panlahat. And then nasusuri ang mga issue tungkol sa paggamit ng kapangyarihan at pangangalaga sa kalikasan at sa kabutihan panlahat. In this video presentation, our attention we will shall focus our attention in understanding the concept of human power. Now, that's why we have this learning objective 1A, which is na ipapalawanag ang konsepto ng kapangyarihan, and learning objective 1B, which is na ipapaliwanag naman ang konsepto ng kabutihang panlahat. Now, this is an introductory lesson on the said topic. You will be provided with a deeper and a much more exhaustive input about the concept of human power when you reach senior high school and college. Okay? So, let us start. We focus our attention, as I've told you, sa concept ng power or human power in particular. So, the word power is derived from the Latin verb potere, P-O-T-E-R-E, which basically means be able to. Now, if we are going to, to put it simply, then power is having the ability to influence someone or to affect something. Now, pag pumunta kayo sa internet and you search for the origin of the word power, marami siyang salitang pinanggalingan. Of course, pwede siyang galing sa Latin noun, okay? pwede rin sa ibang word. But in this case, in this lesson, our definition of power or the word power, ang pinagkuha na natin dito ay yung Latin verb na potere, which means be able to. Meron kang kakayahan na gawin ang isang bagay. Okay? Now, to illustrate what this power is, okay, let's say, for example, this is your teacher. Okay? Your teacher has power or a teacher has a power over students. Okay? And then, this teacher can ask his or her students to produce something after studying. Diba? Pag sinabi ng teacher ninyo, okay, get, get a piece of paper and work on this activity, uh, work on this assignment, work on this task. Okay? And then, these students will be making a project so that the student is able to produce a project for her class. Okay? So, sir, nasan po dyan yung power? So, when we speak of power, as in the previous slide, I have told you that power is the capacity to be able to or to influence someone to produce something. Okay? So, this teacher has the power over her students and that he was, oh, he or she was able to ask her students to produce something after studying and that is this project. So, Basically, pag sinabi natin, I have a power, it means I have control over something. And if I have control over something, then I can ask that something or somebody to do something for me or for others. Now, what are the different characteristics of power? Ano, ano nga ba yung mga katangian ng kapangyarihan? So, pag sinabi natin power or human power, naroon na yung few it means it is endemic to persons. Pag sinabi natin endemic, ibig sabihin nito ay likas sa isang tao na magkaroon siya ng isang kapangyarihan or power or ability to be able to or ability to influence someone to do something. Now, the question is, bakit may kapangyarihan ng mga tao? It is precisely because of our very own nature, our very nature that is being embodied spirit. Person has intellect and will. And because the person has intellect and will, he has this capacity to influence others to do something, to, to affect something. Okay? So that is the reason why power is endemic to persons. Next, other characteristics. So, unang napit kanina, endemic ito. Now, a, a power or a person with power can be evil 
or unjust. Pwedeng masama yung kanyang paggamit ng kanyang kapangyarihan as in a government leader who is oppressing his, her people by abusing his or her power. Now, kung ang power can be evil or unjust, it can also be good or just. So, as in, a government leader who is supporting and advancing the welfare of his or her people by using properly his or her power. So, lahat ng tao ay may kapangyarihan. Now, how we use it? It can be evil or unjust. It can be good or it can be just. Next. A person with power can change over time. Okay? Pwedeng mabago ang ugali ng isang tao na mayroong kapangyarihang hawak. Now, uh, this change, katulad ng paggamit niya ng kapangyarihan, can be from benevolent to malevolent leader or from malevolent leader to be a benevolent leader. So, from power can be derived from different sources. Ibig sabihin, maraming pinanggagalingan ng kapangyarihan ng isang tao. Now, as I have told you, all of us have this power by virtue of possessing intellect and will. Now, may ibang-ibang scales itong powers na to or sabihin nating uh, levels or degrees or lakas. Now, power can be derived from one's social class. Gaano ka kayaman, gaano ka ka-influential, ano ang source of income mo, uh, ano ang iyong apelido. This can be a source of our power. Now, meron din naman mga tao na may kapangyarihan because of his or her charisma. Yung kanyang kakayahang impluensyahan ang mga tao sa pumamagitan ng banang pagsasalita. Di ba sa mga pelikula, sa mga English movies, lantigit sa mga American movies, mabay sasalakay ng alien yung, isang, yung USA, tapos magsasalita yung presidente ng Amerika, and then people would want to follow that particular person. That is charisma. So, sa charisma, hindi dito bata yan yung tinatawag nating material wealth or your source of power or your source of income. Pwedeng kahit mahirap, magkaroon ng charisma okay, at magkaroon ng kapangyarihan. Or, pwede ka magkaroon ng kapangyarihan because you are born into it. Halimbawa, yung mga anak ng mga sultan, anak ng mga, let's say, presidents, anak ng mga congressmen, congresswomen, etc., etc. 